If you're a dropshipper with not a lot of cash to run expensive Google or Facebook ads or even do any flashy stuff, you might want to stick around till the end of this video because I will show you a genius SEO strategy that you can use to drive traffic to your dropshipping website for free. Hi guys, it's Precious. Welcome back to the channel. In my last video, we explored how if you're a stay-at-home mom or someone who, you know, is, who currently has a job but wants to create a side hustle, but at the same time, you don't, you know, you don't want to spend a ton of cash growing that business. In this video, I'm going to show you the right way to go about doing dropshipping. One of the things I talked about in the previous video is how to write product descriptions the right way and how to rank on Google. The video goes into that deeply. If you haven't watched the video, I highly recommend you do that. The link is in the description. The last video and this one is part of a new series or playlist, if you will, titled Dropshipping on a Shoestring Budget. It's an exciting series. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. If you find value in this video, make sure to like and subscribe. This will definitely help spread the word out there and help me and the channel a ton so many times in advance if you run a, a dropshipping store or any affiliate store you can get 500 visits per day to your dropshipping or affiliate website for as low as 30 dollars so check out blue Anna today to get started links in the description before we go off and start writing the product description we need to first choose a product now in the last video I also talked about the right way to find appealing products since we are working with a low budget. Now for this example, I'll choose a product from one of our ready-made dropshipping websites. If you're looking to go into dropshipping, you can get a ready-to-use dropshipping website with great and trendy products already on the website. The link is in the description. Now for this example, I'm going to go with this product, this product called the rechargeable uh, head flashlight. It's a, it, it's a, uh, a great product on AliExpress. Now, but before we even get into all of this, first there are tools that we need. So if it was if I scroll down down here, this is the description that came with uh, the product from AliExpress. So I mentioned this in the, in the previous video. We don't want to go. We don't want to use the same product description. And by the way, we have things like uh, mainland China, all of that. We don't want any of that in our video. So. We, there's a need to rewrite this and not just rewriting it to be unique, right? There's a way we need to rewrite to write this description so that it not only uh, provides a good experience for our customer, but also to help it rank on Google, which is what would help drive traffic back to our website. So the first tool we're going to be using is called, the first one is called uh, Prom Genius. Prom Genius is a Chrome uh, extension that allows you to save customized prompts as you can see here I have my prompts uh, that we'll be using uh, in this uh, video more importantly prompt genius allows you to upload the prompts and then uh, that I'll be using in this video you can download them for free the link you find the link in the description for these prompts so you can follow along the next uh, tool is the Google keyword planner the Google Keyword Planner is a free tool by Google that allows you to discover keywords and their search volume. This is important because you want your products to rank for keywords that actually matter and keywords that people are actually searching for. It also allows you to rank for long tail keywords that are much easier to rank. We will learn more about this later in this video. Now, in order to use this tool, the Google Keyword Planner, you may be taking when you try to sign up for the first time. You may be taking through a process that may require you to create a test ad before you can get access to this tool. So what you want to do is follow the process. And what you want to do once the ad has been created, you can quickly deactivate your ad and proceed to the keyword tool. So the other thing we'll be uh, using is uh, the ChatGPT. We'll be using ChatGPT, uh, and in this case, I'll be using ChatGPT 3.5 because again, we are on, working on a tight budget, so we'll not be using ChatGPT 4 for this. The other tool, it's not a tool, it's it's uh, a template. Again, I'll have this template in the description. The reason why we want to use this uh, template, if you will, is to gather information. The information we'll gather will include things like uh, keywords, research, 
um, article ideas that we may want to write about this particular product. So once this uh, this product, after we've written the description, once this product has started ranking on Google, we want to write more article to you know kind of boost it up the ranking. So again, I'll talk about this later in the video. So when you install the AI prompt genius uh, is a Chrome extension you can search for it as I mentioned earlier you can search for it on Google uh, I like using ed the edge browser because it works great with other things in relation to you know writing articles and product descriptions so it works on uh, the Chrome extension but it also works on edge which is also a Chrome a Chrome browser so you have want to have that installed once you have that installed just go over here and click to make sure your uh, prompt genius is pinned right here to the toolbar. So after that, the next thing you want to do is right click so you can launch this tool in two different ways. You can click on this and you have it here and then you can search and then you can click on. So another way you can use this is to right click and open in sidebar. You have the prompts at the sidebar. You can switch to uh, scroll through to other uh, tabs and it will remain permanent, which is great. Over here on that prompt genius short code, you'll find uh, a code called PDG, it stands for Product Description Generator. So you can now type that in PDG, which will uh, filter out all the uh, prompts that we will need to write this. So, but the first thing I want to do is go through all the different prompts and uh, a few of them and then others as we use them will explain for that. So I'm going to explain a few of them and what they do. So the first one is the keyword strategy report, right? So what this does is it allows us to, it, it goes through a process and allows us to discover uh, in, in conjunction with uh, using the uh, Google Keyword Planner tool. The keyword strategy report generates the required SEO data we need for our article. It also provides trigger keywords that help us discover the best keywords alongside the search volume for those keywords. The second one is the cluster article titles. Now, previously I talked about uh, the reason why we need to use this template so we can um, have the data that we need for when this uh, product has started ranking on Google. We may need to write supporting articles to, to boost it up to the top of uh, the Google search results. The prompt provides us with additional article ideas that we need to write and then link those articles to the product description page. This helps create authority on the subject matter as it relates to the product. The generated article ideas will be used to write the product description as well. So let's dive in and start writing the product description. The first thing we want to do is to launch our ChatGPT uh, interface. So we're going to launch this in the sidebar. And then I'm going to type this PDG. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom. So, one thing you want to note is once you type this, the uh, prompt are sorted from the last to uh, the last at the top down to the first. So, you can see they're numbered 00100003 up to 23. So uh, we're going to start, so you want to scroll down to the bottom before you start. So the first one is product keyword strategy report. So we want to click on this. Then it's going to ask us for two important um, stuff. So insert the main keyword here and insert the article title here. Now, since we don't have, I'm just going to close this over here. Since we don't have a, this is going to go back, since we don't have a, uh, or we've not discovered our, the, the right keyword to use. We're just going to paste the, the uh, product title here, and then here where it says insert the article title, then we're going to paste it right over here. So this is okay. Now, if you know the keyword you want to use, you want this article to run for, then you're just going to paste it into this box, and then you insert the article. But since we don't have that information, we will just go ahead and insert it here and figure out the right keyword to use. So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it right here in ChatGPT. And we're going to click. So then we're just going to go ahead and hit enter and wait for ChatGPT to give us a response. So while this is 
going on i'm going to quickly show how to install it from now again the link is in the description and you want to uh, download this uh, prompt click on this and uh, you go to settings and then you go to import and export and then you want to click, click on uh, import csv so that's how you're going to import this so once you've imported it you will have a list like this and you'll be able to filter based on the folders now if you have more prompts and with different uh, folders they're all going to be listed here so that's how you get your uh, prompts up and running so let's check back at uh, and see what chat gpt has generated all right so if we look at the keyword uh, strategy report that chat gpt has generated we'll see that uh, this is the title now we ignore that for a while for a bit the second thing is the frequently asked questions right these are going to be added to the description so these are questions that people who are maybe interested in the, in the product may be asking how long does the battery last on a rechargeable head flashlight and i use rechargeable batteries other than the ones provided right then we have related queries these are articles that we could further write to boost the product uh, description page up in the search results we also have uh, long tail keywords that we can also write about long tail keywords are keywords that people search on google to uh, for this particular thing so it says affordable recharge headlamp for hiking bright led head flashlights for night running right so all of these will be turned into articles so these are keywords and we'll come back to that just in a moment because we're going to use these keywords with the google keyword planner to help us find the actual keywords with keyword volumes next up we have the slot so this is what we're going to use in our uh, url so we may not use this slide exactly we may need to modify it but i'll talk about this shortly we have the entities entities are um, words that uh, for a particular art type of article right you need to have them so if you're talking about flashlights and and headlamps and all of that you need to have words like night night vision headlamp pitches uh, outdoor activities and, and basically words you would normally see in in such an article so we have meta descriptions uh, meta title page except and the rest so i'm going to come back to this later for now what we want to use we want to use these keywords to help us dis to discover more keywords using the google keyword planner but before that the first thing we want to do is add up these details right here and paste them into our uh, template file now if we go back to our template uh, these are the information so we have the first section which is the article title and then we have the article keyword for seo strategy report now remember i mentioned earlier that we don't have a keyword that we're working with so this will be left blank for the title we're just going to grab at uh, this rechargeable head um, head flashlight and then we're just going to paste it right here there's no keyword so we're just going to paste this temporarily the seo country and region so uh, this would if, if depending on the country you're from and um, the country you are looking to target in the united states you want to target united states then that's what you have here now we're going to talk about that just in a second for company information if you <clears throat> you can add your company details and i'm just going to pause the video and quickly add a company uh, information right here so here i have my company information uh, preset so you can just do a quick summary of what your company does and then you just have it here we have the product research link now again the reason why we have this template if for example you have this product description written and uh and you find out that this product page is in number two in google search so you may want to add you want to have this information ready so that you you already have details like uh, the entities you already have details like the um, article titles that the supported article titles that you would need to write to further strengthen this uh, the, the this product page to further strengthen the position 
of this product page on Google search. Right, so that's why this is important. Now, if you don't want to have this information, that's great. But when you, again, when you're dealing with lots of products, let's say 100, you want to have some kind of uh, mechanism to collect information so that you can retrieve and use that to further write and, and strengthen this and further strengthen the different uh, product pages on your website as it relates as it relates to their rankings on Google search. So we're going to go back to the article and continue generating it. So we're going to grab uh, the frequently asked questions as we will need this later. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over and scroll down to where we have the frequently asked questions. So I'm going to paste this just below. Then I'm going to go back. I'm just going to go back and grab the rest of the information. So we have the related uh, queries. All of these things will be used to uh, write the article. So you just have to uh, collect this information. The next thing is the long tail keywords. Grab that, copy, and uh, we're going to paste it under. Uh, go for the keywords as well. Just copy that. So we have the strategy report keywords, and then we have the Google keyword discovery. So we're going to talk about this shortly, but let's just go ahead and paste this part. So um, I'm going to undo this and just paste it as uh, so you can leave Control Shift V, and uh, we'll just delete the rest of uh, the information. So this is how we want it. Next up, we'll copy the slug. Now the slug refers to the URL. For example, this is the this part of the URL is the slug. So if we want to change it, then that's what we want to use. Let's go back. And look for where we have the slug. So this is the slug information. And then we just paste that. We go back. We grab uh, the details for the entities. Uh, just paste that. Uh, meta description, very important. So we want to copy this and paste it right here. So meta title important as well. All of these things need to go into the product description. So grab the page excerpt and then we'll copy that and we just paste it here. Now for list we need all text. We're going to generate it later in the article and then I'm going to paste it here. Then the chat GPT session link, I also like to include that so that we can easily get back to our chat GPT session in the future if we need to write more articles. So we just paste that right here. So we'll continue with the rest of the article generation. So the, first, the, the next thing we want to do is go to the Google Keyword Planner and use the, and use the keywords that um, ChatGPT gave to us. So scroll down and look for um, the keywords. Right. So this is the key. These are the keywords. So the first thing we want to do is grab the one, two, three, four, five. The first. Usually, you may have. In some cases, you may have a lot more uh, keywords, suggested keywords. So sometimes you could have like uh, 10, 15, 20 keywords. So when you copy them, you normally need only the first five or six keywords. 
the drop was discover the actual keywords that we want to rank for so head over to the google keyword planner we'll click on discover new tool you want to choose the country and this is very important you want to make sure that you you want to make sure that the location is set to the country you want to rank for so if you're in the united states if you're in uh if germany if you're in uh, india or wherever you may be you want to choose or even if you're in another country and you want to target a different country you want to make sure that that country is selected here you can also select language but uh, the default is english i'm going to select uh, ghana and i'm going to delete it i'm going to go for um, and the state as an example and then I select the target and then uh, you click save and then the next thing you want to paste all the keywords into this box and then you click on get result so right here we have a list of keywords i'm just going to use the scroll wheel to reduce the zoom level so that i can see everything clearly so here you want to click um, to sort this by average monthly sales so you can have the the um, keywords with so you can have the keywords with a higher uh, search volume up at the top and then you know as you move downwards you have uh, keywords that are less uh, have less a uh, search volume the next i'm going to expand this so i can see all the keywords so here we have the keyword most of these are uh, there there isn't a much uh, there isn't a lot of search uh, volume so we have only a thousand to ten thousand uh, search volume and right here you see the competition if it's high and it's low so you can scroll down so we're just going to go and pick um, some of the good keywords so we have rechargeable headlamp so that has 1000 to 10,000 uh, search volumes per month uh, searches per month uh, Milwaukee headlamp so you want to add this now the reason why you want to add uh, a search the reason why you want to have a keyword that has a, a brand attached to it is maybe you want to do a comparison you want to do a comparison with your uh, flashlight versus uh, this particular uh, brand of headlamp so best rechargeable headlamp uh, Nebo headlamp. I'm not going to grab a, ton, a lot of these uh, branded uh, keywords. I'm going to look for LED lens, right? So you want to know your product. So this here, right here, is an LED. So you want to know what this is all about. So um, that will help you choose uh, the keywords you want to run for best headlamps. So we could use this to write um, an article to further boost the, this uh, product description page i'm just going to select uh Milwaukee rechargeable headlamp brightest rechargeable headlamp full light headlamp rechargeable headlamp so basically you want to choose the, the keywords that are related to what you are doing directly related you may get um, others that are also uh, similar but not exactly related so here we have rechargeable head flashlight. This has 100 to 1,000 uh, search volume from one best headlamp for camping. Right. If we go back to this article, um, I'm sure there are, there are places where they mention camping. So that's a great keyword as well. So basically what we are doing right here is making sure that we are not just writing um, blindly, right? We are targeting keywords and we are sure that the, the keywords we are targeting are um, have actual search volume, right? So if we didn't do this, if we didn't go through this, um, if we didn't go through this keyword research process, we may probably be, be writing about something that doesn't even have a search volume, and then we just be, we just end up wasting our time. So this gives us some level of certainty that that our product page will have a chance to rank on Google. So we have a headlamp, lead, lead. Uh, led headlamp rechargeable rechargeable headlamp which is great for what we want if we already have something related to this thousand lumen uh, one thousand lumen headlamp headlamp rechargeable 
course rechargeable course rechargeable headlamp best rechargeable headlamp for work best led lamp rechargeable usb rechargeable headlamp and energizer headlamp rechargeable headlamp amazon so i'm not going to have this because we're not um, if this website was not a dropshipping website then definitely i would have gone with this usb c headlamp right campaign headlamps uh, headlamp waterproof Right, so we're going to stop here. I don't want the video to be too long, so I'm just going to grab this and I will head back to you. So one other thing is we want to make sure that so uh, we sort the keywords. So on our template, we have uh, the keywords. So for example, hundred thousand to one million would have been would go under this. Then uh, ten thousand up to hundred thousand will go um, under this. One thousand up to one thousand will go um, right here. So yeah, you just you don't want to paste it like that. Now I've already copied that, so I'm just going to paste it. But when you are working on this, you like you want to sort these by their search volume because you don't want to go through this process. It's actually a painful process. So if you have all this information right here, you can always refer back to it. You know that okay, you've done the research and you have a, you you know the keywords that you want to target. If you want to target the keywords that have a thousand to 1,000 to 10,000 um, search volume. So, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to paste all of this um, on the um, 1,000. Let's see if we can quickly sort it. So, from uh, we have down, 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 down to so where we have rechargeable head flashlight and best headlamp for camping. So I think this should go under 100. Just gonna cut this and then I'll paste it under 100 right here. So there it is. We started it. So now I want to go back, head up back to our article. So the next prompt is suggest cluster article titles. We're gonna click on this. Now as you use this the, the prompt, you find out that you are some of these but this fields are already filled up so this is from the last um, prompt we used which is this remember we fill these up so you want to make sure so it automatically copies uh, the content into these boxes so you want to make sure to delete the text inside the box if it's not relevant so for this insert product title here so that's the product title so we're just going to leave it here and then click on copy and then i'm going to paste this and then we click on run so right here is listing out as i mentioned the cluster topic these are uh, articles that we need to write to kind of further boost our product page to move up the search engine result uh, pages so we're just going to grab this it's going to go down uh, i think we have up to 10 of them so these are 10 uh, possible articles that we need to write later on so i'm just going to grab this click on copy and then we'll go back grab this and then we'll go back to our template and then we're just going to paste it on the cluster article information and we click on and then we paste it's a bit it's a bit rough uh, i'm just going to remove do some bolding it right i think it looks much better so go back to our article so run the next article which is write the article outline for uh, the pillar post so here it says insert the focus keyword here now we'll go back to our template scroll down to uh, our keywords so now we can now choose a keyword remember initially we, we couldn't choose a keyword because we had no idea what we needed to write for so we can now choose a keyword to use to write the article. So here we have rechargeable headlamp. Uh, so let's look at, at this. Um, rechargeable, rechargeable. So it has a USB uh, for camping. Uh, right, so you could just go through and find the one that you feel uh, would represent this particular product. Uh, very well, so I'm going to go with 
uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, brightest rechargeable headlamp. So just gonna copy this. Now you can go with just rechargeable headlamp, but this already has rechargeable headlamp here. So I think the brightness, the brightest would be a great keyword to uh, target. So go back to the Astro, and then I'm gonna paste this as the focus keyword here. Then the next one is set the suggested queries from the keyword strategy report. So what that means is um, over here, related queries, remember we got this information from the keyword SEO strategy report uh, from ChatGPT. So we're just gonna copy this and paste it. Uh, we'll copy that and then we'll head over to this and then we'll paste it right here. So the next is insert the suggested cluster topics from the cluster article suggestions above. So um, it's referring to uh, the cluster topics right here. So we just grab the, uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, sorry, it's up here. So we just grab the titles alone, right? We want this um, information to be. Um, referenced within the product description so we select this I'm sorry we'll copy the title the cluster topic and we'll go to number two so you want to press down uh, the control on your keyboard so that you can copy uh, multiple uh, words at a time i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy this I'm going to pause the video and copy all of this. So now we have all our keywords copied. So I'm just going to copy this and go back head over here. And then I'm just going to paste it right here. And then copy and then I paste it right here and I hit enter. So this is going to write an outline and uh, it will try to include um, all the, the cluster articles and the keyword queries so that it's it becomes a fully, it becomes a full featured uh, product description page that you know talks about a lot of these things and still references the, the cluster topic. So the this is the outline and it's ready. So jump over to the uh, the next prompt. Now ask us for now it's asking for the product title. And that is go back to our assistant and we use the chargeable head flashlight. Copy this, going to paste it here. Add, uh, enter additional information. So if you want uh, this, if you want to enter any additional information regarding how the article should be written, you can have that inserted or you can just have a dash right here to denote that you don't want to add any extra information. So enter focus keyword here. So the focus keyword is the keyword that we've chosen to, is the keyword we've chosen as our main keyword. So I'm just going to go back to our keyword. So remember we chose our best rechargeable headlamp. So I'm just going to copy that head back and paste it right here enter related keywords so related keywords are the rest of the keywords right not the names but the rest of the keywords so we're just going to grab this and i'm going to grab this we just want a few we don't want all of them just grab this i'm going to exclude the main keyword Just copy like this, uh, and uh, I think I'm going to exclude some of the branded ones. So, um, I'm just going to have this. And then I'm 
going to grab uh, some of the keywords that we got from uh, the ChatGPT gateway. I'm just going to grab this copy and I'm going to paste it right here. Then the next entire company information here. So you want to go back to the top and grab company information right here. Copy. Just going to paste this. The next enter long tail keywords. We have our long tail keywords right here. Let's copy this. Get back. Paste. There are enter entities here. We also have our entities uh, somewhere. Just going to grab it. Copy. Paste it right here. Next, insert suggested queries from the keyword uh, strategy report. Related queries. So this is it. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it right here and last uh, second to last like insert the suggested cluster topics from the cluster article suggestions above. So uh, we'll go back again. So these are the cluster articles. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna pause the video and copy this real quick. So here we have all our cluster topic selected. I'm just gonna copy like that and paste that. So paste product description. So that's the last part. So we'll head over here and then we want to copy. So you want to exclude anything mentioning China or any particular country unless it's related to your uh, the country you're, you're targeting. I'm just going to grab this. Let's see if we have obviously images are not included, but I just want to see if we have uh, if we have more information at the bottom. So I'm just going to go up right here. Down here, and then we're just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it like this. So then we'll copy, then you paste, and then you hit enter. And this will be the product description. Right, so the article is done. Right, so you want to read through and make sure that the article is actually great. One of the rules, especially if you're using ChatGPT 3.5, you want to make sure that you regenerate it the second time. So it takes uh, another go at it. Actually, you want to re regenerate it um, up to three times, and then you can now switch. I'm going to compare and see which particular article um, looks better. Just gonna have it uh, finish generating the article. So here we're gonna click on continue generating. So if you look closer, you will notice it's um, actually writing about some of the um, long tail keywords and, and other things, and then they are highlighted here. Now this may not happen every time. So sometimes it does this. You, it will highlight the, the keywords. So rechargeable headlamp, waterproof, uh, compare rechargeable and dis disposable headlamp, right? All of these things. So once it's done, you want to go through and look at um, what, when, you, when you're adding the article, you can now go over and delete some parts that are not um, related to this, especially in, in a particular way. So that's one thing. So I'm not going to regenerate it a third time because this video will, will be too long. So the next thing we want to do is we'll be going over to, I think, um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think this is a bit longer, so I, I, I like this. So we're going to go with this. So now move on to the next um, prompt. So we have the, the next prompt is convert, uh, convert article to HTML. 
and I will have another one for red as equal to each uh, HTML plug internal linking. Now these two are similar, only that one um, does uh, internal linking. So internal linking is um, when you link to other parts of your website. So if this is the product description, we could say link uh, this word to um, another, maybe if we have um, something that's related to headbands, right? We want to link to it. So when Google comes to call this particular product page, they can still follow those links to, you know, get to the other uh, product pages. So that's what internal linking um, does. So we have this, and then by the way, the HTML part is, um, it will convert it to HTML so that we can just easily copy this. And if we have all the, the, the H1, uh, the H2 headers and the H1, basically everything ready, and then we're just gonna paste it on, on our website and have it formatted and ready to go. So that's what the HTML does. So um, we're not gonna go, so we have one convert article to HTML only. So it's not going to do the internal linking like this one. So, but what we want is the convert to HTML and also do internal linking at the same time. So we're not going to use number five. We're going to jump to number six. So we're going to click on this. So here we have uh, two fields. One is insert the links to the cluster content here, and then we have insert the suggested internal links. So there are two types of internal links. So one is the internal links from the cluster articles that were suggested earlier, and then the second one is internal links from our website. There's a section where it says rechargeable headline. So what we'll do is we're gonna have a forward slash to this, to all the slugs, as they will serve as our internal links. So I'm just gonna have at this. So remember, we're supposed to write articles on these going forward. So you wanna select the ones that are suitable. So let's say rechargeable headline, fine guide, outdoor rechargeable headlamps, rechargeable headlamp, night running, Right, you want to go through and so if you see something like that, rechargeable headlamp, uh, I mean, basically anything that is not related or maybe it's, you know, kind of related to an affiliate type of um, product description or article writing, then you want to remove that because this is not for uh, affiliate marketing. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to pause the video right here. So now we've copied all the slots. So we're going to head back to our article and say insert the links to the cluster content so i'm just going to copy this and paste it right here so you can see the links over here the next is insert the suggested internal links now again the way suggested internal links work is you could go to your product um your website and choose the uh, internal links or you know links that you think are related to each product for this example i just chose um, links to the category pages as um, external, as internal links rather. So I've already have them um, down here. So I'm just gonna grab them, uh, gonna copy. And by the way, if you are, if you wanna start dropshipping and don't have a website, you can look at, uh, there's a link in the description where um, you can find ready-made dropshipping website. Again, link in the description. Just gonna, uh, Paste this right here. Okay. So I'm going to do copy and then I'm going to paste it. So it's going to convert this to HTML. And once it's done, then we're going to copy this and then we can now paste it onto our website. So um, when it's generating this, so you want to make sure you uh, look at it carefully, right? So for example, here it says other section. So it's not fully uh, it's not fully adding all the the contents of this uh, product description, right? So it's it's leaving some part uh, some parts out. So what we're going to do is regenerate it until it it, it, it gets everything within the HTML. So you can see that I've generated it up to four times, but it's still not giving us the full article. So another trick you can 
another page is to click on this to edit the existing prompt and then you click and you click on save and submit so i was able to get so you can from this you see that i had to you know regenerate this multiple times um, to get it to, to to generate all of this chat gpt has a, a limit you know the number of uh, words it can generate so i think we've hit that limit so it's saying there was an error generating a response so if you're having uh, something like this what you want to do is you may not be able to use uh, this method it converts to html method so what you want to do is you want to switch to the, the second method which will be to just copy this now this article was written in what we call markup so um, this is another way, but the only drawback with this is you, you may need to manually add your internal links, right? So this is the best uh, method, but the article is actually very long and I kind of like the, the product description. Sorry, the product description is very long and I kind of like this because it's, uh, it's a bit detailed. So uh, in some cases, most times, it will uh, be able to provide you the HTML and you want to do this. But for this, in this case, it's not, uh, we've exceeded the, the limit for uh, the text for a particular prompt. So what we want to do is go over here and then we click on copy, right? And then we go over to a tool called uh, Markdown. So HTML. enter so this will convert uh, markdown to html so just going to copy this and paste and then bam we have our article right here so again the drawback is that we don't have um, the internal links added so we'll have to do that manually so then we'll not click on raw html and then we can grab this and paste on our website now i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna skip this part for now because adding the article to adding the product to uh, the website we'll do it in a second video so for this video i just want to run through the prompt and show you how it works so now we have this at uh, this uh, down right here let's head over to this now we already have um, an error message here which has hidden which has um, removed the, the the text box it's going to hit regenerate and then this time we're just going to hit on stop so we can have the box back here so go to the next one which is uh, product text convert uh, product text table plus convert to html so this will create a table of the uh, the product specs right which is um, another thing that google likes when um, they are crawling a product description page So when you click on uh, this, and then it asks copy and paste the product information from uh, Amazon. So this, this is definitely not Amazon. So basically, you just want to copy it from the website. And by the way, this will also work with, uh, you can use this method to write uh, uh, product descriptions for Amazon product. So it's going to go back here, so I'm going to copy this, and then paste, copy and then we'll paste this and then we hit enter it's going to generate the table and then it will generate um html version of it as well so we can just copy that and paste on our website right so this is the table so we'll go to the next prompt which is uh, image all text generator so we'll click so it says insert the title of the product here uh the product title is We'll grab it here, try to go headline, head over here, and then we're just going to paste it. Enter focus keyword here, which is our primary keyword. So we'll grab that from um, our file, which is best rechargeable headline. Remember, that's the focus keyword and not the rest of them. So we'll click here and then we we'll add it. And then you're just going to grab that and paste right here and hit enter so this is the alt text now we're going to use this later when we're adding the article this will be uh, these um, alt text will be used um, 
when we uh, are for these images so all these images will have this alt text so they are all uh, optimized for seo so the next uh, prompt is expand different sections now we you want to use this expand uh, different sections or fast expand different section and um, i'm going to talk about this maybe in, in a in a different video so you want to like subscribe and make sure you follow but basically these expand sections are uh, will allow you to for example if we go back to our um, article preview so for example let's say if you if you feel that this particular as an example if you feel that this particular um, product uh, this particular description or section is not well written or it's too short then you want to use that prompt to expand uh, that section so you can do that for I mean, you can do that for a, a, a major section like this that has subsections underneath it, or you can just focus on the subsection underneath it. So that's what that uh, prompt is used for. And then we you, once you generate that subsection, you can convert it to HTML. And then we also have uh, right for long tail keywords. So remember, we have um, these long tail keywords, right? So you can have uh, chat GPT write. Uh, content for these long tail keywords uh, separately and then you add that to the con to the website as well so we're not going to do that i'm just going to run through uh, these so this is the the frequently asked question section so you use this to generate your uh, fact section and then convert it to html and then you add it to the website now again in the next video i'm going to show you how to add these uh, things we've generated into uh, the the website, I want to add it to the product page. So you want to, you know, kind of like. So you want to make sure you uh, subscribe and uh, you you hit the like button so you get notified as soon as the next video is up. So the next uh, next up we have convert concluding paragraph. So now most times um, you may not need to do all these extra things, right? So um, internal linking. Sorry, that's not. So you may not it's you may not need to do uh right for long tail keyword like this article for example they did a good uh ChatGPT did a good job of including all the uh, the long tail keywords so uh typically i would not want to do long tail keyword but if i have a product description page that uh, the text is very short then i want to do that to kind of have more text so these are just lever uh, levers you can pull you know to either have more content on the page or to if you think um, it's not ex it's not giving you a good article that you know kind of explains or goes into great detail about the product then you want to do right for long tail keyword keywords then you want to do um you want to generate a concluding paragraph but you find that all this so for example you see it has conclusion right so Again, all of these are already in the article, but if you feel they are not sufficient, then you want to do them separately, right? Generate concluding paragraph, then convert it to HTML. The HTML will now allow you to, you know, add it to your website. So you see here, there's a reference in. So Foursquare Shop is committed to bring you top-notch gadgets. Check it out for that, right? So some of these things may not need to be uh, in the article. So make sure to um, read through but basically you have uh, the product description and a well um, written one you know for that matter so next up we have um, convert concluding paragraph to html plus internal linking right so um, for the last two ones we have product page generator now this will be for another video so i'm not going to cover this but it's right there so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll go over how to add product descriptions to your website and how to make sure your product descriptions include all the SEO basics. Now we've done some of them as uh, in this video, but I'm going to uh, dive deeper into uh, that uh, SEO basic. We'll explore how to use Rank Math to further optimize our, our website. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and also. Uh, my newsletter you find the links in the description now in my newsletter i send weekly updates on how to grow your drop shipping 
affiliate and e-commerce businesses. Making sure that your product page ranks is extremely helpful because it can bring free traffic, which will ultimately bring thousands in sales. Free traffic generation is essential when it comes to doing dropshipping on a shoestring budget. So see you in the next video.